Hi Ethan, this is Eddie. We're so happy to, to send this message to you. Man, but every time I think of Ethan, I'm thinking of this brother, this friend with a very big heart. I think a bigger heart than yourself because you are so tiny, so small, pulling that bag of donation. I remember that day when you were just pulling those donations for our kids in the orphanages. Then we were certain all the donation and saying, okay, this is for Ogar de Fe kids, this is for Casa Bernabe kids, and just working so hard at that age. That's you, my buddy. You have a very big heart. We love you, we appreciate you so much, and we're so thankful for you. And, uh, and we want to pray at this moment for you. But before praying, I was thinking of Isaiah uh, Isaiah's 53, and it says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our, our transgress, transgressions. He was crushed for our, for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And it says, by his wounds we are healed. Now it doesn't say by, by his wounds we are going to be healed, no. He said, by his wounds, we are healed. So brother, you are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. God, we thank you so much for Ethan. Thanks for all that you are doing in his life and through his life. And in the life of his father, our brother John, Stacy, our sister. In the life of Sarah, in the right life of Nicholas, in the life of Rene and everyone in the, in the family, God. We thank you for all that you're doing in their life. And we thank you so much, Jesus, because one day you came to this earth and you gave your life for us. The Bible said that by your wounds, we are already healed. And we declare in the name of Jesus that our brother Ethan is already healed. In the name of Jesus, he is already healed and that's true because of you lord we thank you so much we bless ethan and we ask you that your presence that your holy spirit may be with him every day of his life and that you may use him greatly to establish your kingdom in the united states and wherever you want him because one thing we are sure of you have a wonderful and you have a great plan for his life Thank you so much, Lord. We bless him. We bless his family. And we ask you to strengthen them. We ask you to fill them with your peace, with your joy, in midst, of, in midst of everything, with your joy, with happiness, Lord, and with health, with quality of life, Lord. We pray for our brother and his family. Group here, brothers and sisters, they have been praying and they will continue to pray for you, but also they have a message for you. Dios te bendiga. Ah, Dios te bendiga. May God bless you richly, brother. We love you so much. Right, amen. Hey, Ethan. Eddie and I are right here in Rebus, and we wanted to give you a shout out. Uh, we're here in Rebus at an LCI with a team from the United States, and we're serving them food and that. And this is a community just like the one that you and your family support in the way of Vida. These malnourished kids are now getting a nourishing meal today, just like you and your family are doing. And so we just wanted to give you a shout out. We want you to know how much we're thinking about you. We want you to know that we pray for you constantly. We want you to get well. We are for you. And we just want you to know that you are important to us. And you're important to all these kids here in Nicaragua. So we thank you for all that you're doing and get well man get well yeah, that's right we're praying for that we're praying every day for you buddy all right take yeah. a look at these kids aren't they awesome this is part of the pizzaferro family legacy right here kids just like this in nicaragua kids like this in nicaragua <laughs> There you go. Okay, Ethan, we just want to let you know. We're for you. We're thinking about you. Okay, keep after it. I know it's not easy, but keep after it. The Lord's going to bless you. We are counting on that. All right, thank you so much. This is Dr. Janice from Nicaragua. We are here in Huastomate community with those precious uh, children. We just want to tell you that we love you, Ethan. 
We have been praying for you and we want to tell you, te queremos decir, Dios te bendiga.